All right, bell ringer for today, which is the last one of the week. So when you get it finished, you can turn it into the assignment, the announcement for today, and grade those for you. <clears throat> All right, so describe how the Harlem Renaissance helped with social unity in the United States. There you go. Yeah, working. Oh, make sure your Harlem Renaissance readings are finished too and turn those in if you haven't done so already from yesterday. I think this is the third bell ringer for the week, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Sneeze. Need a mixture of both in the second one. <laughs> I didn't sign anybody for a current event this week, did I? Nope. No. Okay. We'll, we'll start that next week again. All right. So I think I gave you enough time here. So describe how the Harlem Renaissance helped with social unity in the United States. What do we have? What is the Harlem Renaissance? What is that? What was it? What was it? What do you got, Chris? What was the Harlem Renaissance? Can I say what answer? Uh, answer what? The yeah. All right. Good job. Good job. All right. Good. So Harlem Renaissance, when you see Renaissance, think of rebirth, right? This is a new way of looking at, in this case, a new culture, right? A new group of people, African-Americans for so long throughout, you know, obviously slavery up to the Civil War, the Jim Crow law, segregation in the South, and then eventually the Great Migration, make sure you remember that term, the Great Migration, um, pushed a lot of African-Americans north into these bigger cities for new opportunities with education, workplace, you name it. And we talked about the NAACP, right? We talked about W.B. Du Bois and Booker T. Washington trying to push education, vocational skills for African-Americans to learn, to help interweave um, them in society. So the Harlem Renaissance, 
this was a new look at the African American culture, right? And what was that? What was that new look? How did they express their culture? What did they use as avenues or ways of like beacons to show their culture to the American people and the world? What did they use? What did they do? Haley, what do you have? How how did the African American culture show their culture? Like how did they express it to many of the other Americans? Music, right? Artwork. Good. Good job. So jazz especially, poetry, um, writings, uh, short stories, you name it. We went over a lot of them yesterday. And who was an influential character, uh, person of the Harlem Renaissance during that time? Who was one? Just give me one of them. Angel? Duke Ellington. Good job. And what was he famous for? Yeah, bringing a piano into jazz. Good work. Good work. All right. Who is another influential person? Hunter? So he said Duke Ellington. Who else? What's that? Okay. What did she do? What's that? I can't hear you. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, who else? Who else? Chris? Yeah, Louis Armstrong. Okay, good job. And what did he do? What was his famous? He was like, he was a um, he what did he use? Okay, there you go. Good job. Good job. What else we got? What else we got? Autumn, one more person. Oh, okay. Okay. Melissa? Langston Hughes. Good job. Good job. What did he do? What was his? Poems, good, yeah, good job, good job. So he wrote poems infused with jazz to discuss some of the working conditions for many of these African Americans and problems finding job opportunities in the United States. Good. All right, there's many more that I talked about. Um, just take note of those and make sure you ha you remember them for a quiz or a test. Okay. Good. So Harlem Renaissance was a way with music, artwork, poetry, expression of African-American culture in the United States through hard times in education, uh, opportunities with workplace and lifestyle in general. And it was expressed through these artworks. And this really united the country in a way where uh, many African-Americans played and, and showed their skills and talents to many of the white people in society and many other immigrant and and races in the United States. All right, is there any questions on the Harlem Renaissance? We good? Okay. So I don't know if you got it. I posted the vocab terms yesterday to the stream. There might be a few terms that I missed going over through the lessons when we're when we're over uh, break and quarantine. So uh, make sure you look over those vocab terms, have them all down, and ready for. We're probably gonna have a test next week. Okay. So maybe Tuesday, all right? Just to let you know. I'll have the study guide posted tomorrow for you. All right? You got that, Kevin? What did I say? Okay, what? When, what day? All right, good, good. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to come around and check your bell ringers. For those of you at home, please complete the reading attached. It's about the Red Scare. And turn in your bell ringers for me, please. Uh, that... That is due today. Well, it's going to be due for tomorrow, so I can check those off and give you points. Remember, presentations tomorrow. Primary source, <coughs> citations, MLA citations. Make sure you turn in your video. If you're just showing in a presentation, you're not going to get all. You're not going to get full points. I want to see your video and you presenting. See you.